Good day class! Our topic for today is about perennial community health problems. Community health problems are common nowadays with the rise in a modern technology. People neglect the importance of the basic needs for safety. A safe environment will ensure a quality of life that will lead to more productive citizens of the country. This lesson will help you understand that one environment is threatened by human activities and that you have a role in wiping out the community health problems. Different perennial problems happen to the different regions of the country. Let us now discuss the different community health problems. Number one is a drug abuse prevention and control in the community. Substance abuse prevention, also known as a drug abuse prevention, is a process that attempts to prevent the onset of substance use or limit the development of problems associated with psychoactive substances. Prevention efforts may focus on the individual or their surroundings. A concept known as environmental prevention focuses on changing community conditions or policies so that the availability of substances is reduced as well as the demand. Substance abuse prevention efforts typically focus on minors, children and teens especially 15 to 35 years of age. Substances typically targeted by preventive efforts include cigarettes and various forms of smokeless tobacco, marijuana, inhalants, and other drugs. Another one is the alcohol that includes binge drinking, drunkenness, and driving under the influence of alcohol. The next one is the water supply. A safe, reliable, affordable, and easily accessible water supply is essential for good health, but for several decades, almost 1 million people in developing countries have lacked access to such a supply. A poor water supply impacts health by causing acute infectious diseases. It can also affect health by limiting productivity and the maintenance of personal hygiene. Strenuous efforts must be made to improve access to safe and sustainable water supplies in developing countries, and we should join with others in demanding accelerated progress towards global access to safe water. The next one is the food sanitation. Personal hygiene is important to prevent food poisoning. When handling a food, wash your hands thoroughly and often. If you are sick, do not go to work because you can contaminate food more easily. And food handlers should be properly trained in a safe food handling. Another one is the waste disposal. Community and public health works with local and regional councils to ensure that both solid and liquid waste is disposed in a healthy manner to prevent diseases. Waste reduction is something where we can all make a tangible difference. We can show love for our environment and our planet by living as waste-free as possible. The other one is the peace and order. 
peace and order is an essential ingredient in maintaining economic development, social order, and political stability. A condition of peace and order facilitates the growth of investment, generates more employment, and attracts more tourists. Peace and order refers to the absence of hostility. It refers to an environment that is characterized by a healthy interpersonal and international relationship, acknowledgement of equality, and fairness. The next one is the control of diseases. There are many aspects to communicable disease prevention and control, all with the aim of preventing the spread of communicable diseases in the population. The work usually involves different types of preventive activities with the aim of number one, reducing the risk of an individual coming into contact with an infectious agent. Number two, preventing individuals who have been exposed to infection from becoming ill. And number three, preventing an infected individual from passing on the infection to others. And the last one is the human waste or the human excreta. This refers to the waste products of the human digestive system and the human metabolism, namely feces and urine. As part of sanitation system that is in place, human waste is collected, transported, treated, and disposed or reused by one method or another depending on the type of toilet being used by the ability by the users to pay for service and other factors. People in developed countries tend to use flush toilets where the human waste is mixed with water and transported to sewage treatment plants. Community health problems vary according to factors like economy, politics, geography, culture, and social context. There are places which experience community health problems like waterborne diseases, armed conflicts, natural disasters, highly urbanized zones, and overpopulated areas. In this regard, the government has created an office which would be in charge of planning and implementing rules and regulations to address the above-mentioned community health problems. Let us always remember that a clean and safe environment is important in achieving a healthy community. Protecting the health of a community involves protecting the environment from health hazards. And as a student, you have a role in promotion of healthy environment, especially in your household, school, and community. This is your chance to help eradicate community health problems.